Hello everyone and welcome back to more Hyrule Warriors. In the last episode, we took on Hyrule Field as uh, Hyrule Castle was mysteriously attacked by some other force. Link, Impa and Zelda had to defend it. However, during the end, Princess Zelda mysteriously disappeared. In this episode, we are going to move on to the next area the Elden Caves. Now before we, be, uh, before we begin, one thing I want to mention is in Legend Mode, or any mode really, there are multiple characters that you usually can control. In this case, we can control Link and Impa. However, Impa herself has an advantage in this uh, area as she uses the water ability, I believe. Yes, so she has a water element, and this is a relatively fiery area. Meanwhile, Link won't have, will just have an alright time. Uh, but regardless, we shall go as Impo. Uh, quickly, let's check the bazaar to see if there's anything we can do. We can have an old rag, so we can use potions. That is important. Nope. Looks like we don't have anything else to do there. Uh, painting dojo? No. She is the max level. Uh, eh, I don't think we need this. Uh, Yikes! 50,000. Anyway, let us continue with Impa. After choosing a warrior, you will need to choose which weapon to wield, assuming you have found additional weapons. Attack Strength. The higher the value, the more damage you deal to enemies. The value is decided based on basic weapon strength and the weapon's star rating. Skill. Skills attached to weapons give them various added effects. If a skill is sealed, you must defeat a certain number of foes to unlock it. Element. Equipping the right element for the right enemy or all battle can make all the difference. So those are some basics. Helpful for this type of game. After an arduous battle, Link and his comrades slew King Dodongo, but the beast was only ever intended as a distraction. The army of monsters had taken Hyrule Castle. Worse, after the dust had settled, Princess Zelda was nowhere to be found. Impa and Link searched the battlefield for any sign of her, but to no avail. Although the battle had been lost, Impa foresaw Link's importance to the coming war. She bestowed upon him a green tunic, the sign of the legendary hero. Link did not believe himself worthy of the honor, but he was determined to help Impa and her remaining soldiers locate Zelda. Weeks passed. Impa heard a rumor that a handful of soldiers were holding out against the monsters in Farron Woods. The leader of this resistance was supposedly a young woman. Impa dared to hope that this unknown woman was Zelda. Link and Impa decided to make their way to the forest by way of the Elden Caves, a path with its own dangers. And here we are at the uh, pre-battle menu. Uh, so basics, battlefield info, we can just check the general info of all the um, our forces and their forces. So they have a big power. Uh, list of keeps for them and there. Yeah. Uh, Link is also joining our battle but as an AI. Current status. Uh, victory conditions, Impa and Link escape, and the defeat conditions is if Link flees. Nothing to do with Impa though, I guess Impa doesn't matter. 
Wow, game. <laughs> uh, warrior info. Combos. BBB. BB. BY. You can see there. Um, I won't bother with that. Tutorials, we won't bother. Settings, we won't bother. Set background music. Um, oops. I really... Okay. As long as I don't set background music, it will um, remain as this area's battle music because I remember the first time I played this game, I set the background music as something and it remained that uh, for the vast majority of the game. And so I missed out on some really, really, uh, really good remixes of classic Zelda tunes. All because I didn't know how to change it back, and I didn't realise that it was set to a certain track. So, be careful there. Exit scenario, and start battle. Let us start battle. The time limit is 60 minutes. Let us go. If you're carrying more than one usable item, you can switch between them by pressing left and right on the D-pad or using the touchscreen on the Wii U gamepad, which I am not using because my Wii U gamepad is currently out of commission because I do not have uh, my charger <laughs> working. It's like... Yeah, link, uh, anyway, Impa, she is a heavy force. She isn't as flexible as Link, however, she can deal a lot of damage. The exit is over there, but we'll have to go all the way around the north to get to it. Uh, I quite like Impa. She's, as you can see, a little bit um, slower. Her weapon is heavier, but she's not too much slower. Anyway, we need to... Let's take out uh, these strong enemies here. Outposts continue to spawn soldiers for the side that controls them. Defeating an outpost captain captures that outpost for your forces. However, if an ally captain at an outpost is defeated, then the enemy forces will claim that outpost instead. Yep, so it is important to uh, take back outposts, otherwise you're going to get fairly overwhelmed. Uh, special gauge is almost there. Almost. There's an outpost captain. Let us take this back. Uh, I believe, yes. Uh, troops will, your own troops will start spawning on the outpost if you've taken them back, so even more reason to uh, take them. So, let us go further north. Uh, looks like there's... Yep. Let's do this. <laughs> nice and simple. Uh, I want to apologize real quick uh, if I am a little scatterbrained just because I am still trying to get used to commentating. So it can be a little hard to concentrate on two things at once. Uh, anyone that has probably commentated probably knows well by now the um, difficulties that come with doing both of these. Nothing. Yikes. Gates are closed. Um, find an alternate path to rendezvous with Hyrulean Captain. Okay then. <laughs> One of the fun things about playing this game again is I kind of don't remember how to do things, uh, where to, what to do. Um, 
So it's almost a semi-blind let's play. I mean, I know what happens in the story. I know uh, what characters are playable, but the exact specifics of a um, of a map, not so much. Let's do this. Oh, that is. That is great. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, it's a Poe. Die. Thankfully, no Poe sisters. Let's just take these, uh, all these trips out first. Just so we can keep it. I actually know it isn't even ours yet. We have to take uh, defeat this keep boss. I thought the bow was the keep boss. I guess not. Okay. Let's go forward. And let's drop down to here. There's another bow. Special. I want that. Let's just use it to clear some of these trips. Mission successful. We rendezvoused with the Hylian captain. Reinforcements are here. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness indeed. Morale has improved. That is good. That lava is stopping our progress. We need to do something about it. Indeed we do, Wimper. Hmm, if we break those stone spires, maybe we can get across that lava. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a an outpost captain over there. You know what I just realized? I actually kind of spoiled the name of this, um, this so-called wizard <laughs> from before. I thought we already knew his name, but I guess not. We only know Volker's name. Oops. <laughs> oh, the bomb chew. Back some uh, crowd control right there. Scored the bomb chew. Uh, um. Okay. Let's make our way back. Yes, yes, I'm. I am doing that. Well, at least I want to. There's a bomb, Joe. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Ah, uh, yes, with the bomb, Joe. Oh, don't attack it. And actually, I don't know if you do damage to it, but make sure you defeat the enemies around it. Otherwise, they will destroy it. Okay, it looks like we don't do damage to it, I think, which is good. Die, die. Impa is fairly good at crowd control, which is helpful. Da -da -da -da. We 
we go. Lizelle is down. Okay. Oh boy. I'm glad that Bomb Chew has a lot of health, but at the same time, there is a lot of enemies here. Having my special charge would be really nice. Yeah, saying. I believe we throw bombs at it. Explosion, but it didn't do a whole lot. Okay, keep boss. There we go. It has opened. Phew, now the bomb shoe can reach the stone spires. Amazing animation, right there. Nice. Guess I can't do anything with that right now. Head for the exit, looks uh, like we've been trying to do all this time. I recognize that harp from anywhere. Oh. The princess isn't dead. You'll re reunite with her at some point during your journey, but not quite yet. You can call me Sheik. It's a name that comes from the Sheikah tribe. They were servants of the Hyrulean royal family. The Sheikah tribe? That's impossible. We can talk more once we get out of this cave. Pull me out, I can join you. Thank you, mysterious Sheik. I have no idea who you are. <laughs> yeah, pretty much everyone knows the plot of Ocarina of Time. Forward, cut them down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you don't know, I won't spoil. <laughs> They're really getting fierce, aren't they? Come on. We've got to keep moving. I'm pretty much just um, spamming B. Should use uh, the Y button a little more. Also, frame rate. Ugh. You might not be able to tell. <laughs> but yikes. Anyway, by acquiring item power ups from enemies, you can gain the ability to use stronger versions of the items for a short amount of time. Neat. Oh, did I not get those Zalpos? I think I did actually. Yes, I did. Oh, no, wait, what, what? I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't realize I was fully charged. Oh well. Uh, where's the keep boss? Right over there. Whoa! Hey, a chest! 
What could be inside? Um... You got a sealed weapon. It might be, be a completely new weapon, but you'll have to check it later. Okay. Yeah, I reckon there is something good in there. Hopefully it's not a duplicate. West is about to fall. Tunnel Square has opened. They have nowhere to run! Crush them! Beat them! Grind them to dust! Yeah ha ha ha! Hey, I like you, wizard. I actually have no idea if I'm going the right way. <laughs> Probably am not. Uh, map there. But since we're right near an outpost, we might as well uh, take it back. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go back. Actually, let's just take all these out first, so they're not a problem. Uh, gather some material. Beat the spirit of the caves, which I just did. <laughs> yeah. A little late. But okay. I know the West Keep is about to fall, but I need to focus on this. We have lost a keep. But at least the Goron Cop captain has arrived. Yeah, I'll probably waste his time here. Oh well. Hey, it's a chest! But it's not a fancy chest. Oh. Rupees are nice. At least. So basically their weak points start appearing when they're attacking and you avoid them. Ah, uh, yep, there you are. Greedy. Um, is there anything this way? No, it's just this. Okay. Uh oh.
Well, that's creepy. <laughs> Twisted Wizard Wizro. Let's take this one out. I am prioritizing the wrong things. Okay, so it's just down here. Oh, the bomb chew is just there. <laughs> nice. We are super powered right now. Oh, large bombs. Neat. Large bombs are always a good thing. And a finisher. Ah, uh, bomb choose right over there. Let's go take, oh. I was going to take it uh, back that outpost, but I guess not. At least not for now. It's right over here. What is in here? Ooh, a chest. Nice! You got a heart container. Your maximum hearts have increased by one. I am glad I checked that. Heart container. It stores all of your health and it increases your maximum health by one heart. Piece of heart. Restores all of your health. Collect four of these to make a new heart container and increase your maximum health by one heart. You can check information on heart containers and pieces of heart depending on a given battlefield from the select scenario screen. However, they only appear when using the specified weapon. Help is on its way. Oh, Wizro is here. Might be a good idea to take him out. As he is pretty much a major antagonist, he is a little bit bulkier. Which states the importance of activating his weak points. Ugh. That was a big hand. <laughs> I should uh, try and aim for more combos. And there goes Wizro. There is another boulder. Another chest. No, just pots. With hearts and SP. SP is always nice. You're almost there. I need to grab that. We have cleared the way! Yay! Great, now we can get to the exit. Thanks a lot, everyone. I guess that brings our little adventure to the end for now. <coughs> hurry up, Link. The exit is here. Please hurry, Link. <laughs> Great, now we can head into Fire and Woods and find the wound we've been hearing about. 
Invisible walls! I hope she's Princess Zelda. I, um... <laughs> I... Doubt it. <laughs> nice one, Impa. And we earned a lot of rupees. 18,076. Wow. Fire Rod. A magical rod that summons fire. It attacks over a wide area, so it's perfect for bringing the heat on large groups of enemies. All the weapons we've obtained. Um, Sacred Heart for Medley, which we can't actually use. <laughs> oh well. And a dragon bone pike for Volga, yeah. It kind of ruins the immersion when Volga is currently an antagonist, yet he is also playable. Big Poe's Landon, Big Poe ne Necklace, the Zalpha Scale, and Monster Teeth. You can now battle a Sheik. Nice. But the Goddess's Harp. A harp that commands magical melodies. It can be imbued with elemental affinity using combo attacks. Use the strong attack button to tap into elemental power and cause various effects. We earned the Superstar Medal. And that is it. Uh, that wasn't so bad. You are now, now able to increase the repertoire of Link's attack actions. Try creating the Kakiri Sword 1 attack badge. Let us do that right away. New regular attack for the Hylian Sword. B, B, B. B, B, B. B. Simple enough. So we got new combos. And Wooden Sword 1. New combo attack with the Magic Rod. B, Y, 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 Y. Uh. Next time I use Link, I think I will try out the Fire Rod. Can we create any more badges? Oh, we can. Okay, so we can pretty much create... Oh, let's do this and one of these down here. Hornet, uh, Hornet Larvae 1 slightly increases the potency of healing items. Which one do we want to create? Slightly reduces damage taken on fire element recommended stages. Water, lightning, light, dark. Oh, which one do I want? For the sake of it, I think I'm going to go water. I don't know why water. Oh. We also get the Zora tunic. Good thing, because Zoras are my favorite race in the Legend of Zelda. Nope, nothing else. Let's uh, make Link level 7. Sounds neat. Plus 17 attack. Your warrior has increased to level 7. You. Anyone else? No, no. Um. Nope, they're all level seven. So next time, I guess we are going to tackle Farron Woods. See you next time.